Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Guess what's back? 2019 Topps Chrome Sapphire Edition Baseball is back. Five box, pick your team number nine from uh, this fresh, I guess, box that our distributor sent all the boxes of Chrome Sapphire Edition to us. And big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. Who got last spot? Drew Sanford with the Padres. Last spot mojo here in break nine. Really appreciate that. All right, let's pop this guy open. Let's see what we have here. Could have been disastrous, but I think I did it. <laughs> oh, man, definitely lucked out there. Some of these boxes want to tip over, but from left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I got nervous there, you guys. I got nervous. This was definitely going to be an unboxing fail video happening. All right. Got lucky. Okay. So there's one through eight. Let's generate a number. And it's going to be six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this row right down here. There you go, that one right there. And I guess these will just get reshuffled and then we'll just read, renumber them and we'll go from there. All right. Thanks again, everybody, for getting into the action here. I'm going to open up all the uh, boxes first and then we'll go pack by, uh, or box by box once I stack the packs. Good luck, everybody. Um, as I'm sure you know by now, there is a ridiculous amount of value in these cards because it was a Topps online exclusive. They didn't make very many, and so not very many people have it. So now, classic supply and demand, the value of these, especially the top rookies, the value of, of even base cards have gone bananas. They're just wild prices, crazy prices. We're talking like Pete Alonzo, Fernando Tatis Jr., Vlad Guerrero Jr., base cards, just base cards of these guys, hundreds of dollars on a secondary market. Now you get parallels, that's even more. You get autographs, even more. So because of that high mark that that's being set, you can extrapolate that to, hey, so maybe even some of, even the more like quote unquote scrub rookies will still have a lot, yes. Classic supply and demand, everybody. All right. Top loaders right next to me here. Okay. Good luck, everybody. Oh, yeah, is that, that, is that out today, Rory? Joker? With, uh, with Joaquin Phoenix? Joaquin Phoenix? A Phoenix? <laughs> Some Phoenix? It looks pretty darn good. I mean, people are talking like, uh, People are talking like Oscar consideration, right?
All right. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Tampa Bay Rays, orange. That will be for John Gotti, John G with that one. Rory's here. He's saying, I don't need to be greedy. Just a few Kestens from this group of boxes. He's good. Two out of 25. And all card ship, of course. And we got JK for the Twins. Twins still down a run in the top of the fifth. They were leading 2 nothing for a little bit. I think, are they threatening? Yeah, they got a man on second right now. Two outs. There's rookie Jake Cave going to the Twins. That'll be for David Larson. And there's Brett Gardner. Brett Gardner, orange for the Yankees, Charles Byrne. Twenty-one out of twenty-five. Ray is saying, Adam is saying, I hope, I hope the Joker is good because I'm tired of all these Joker variations. Well, here's the thing: I don't think Joaquin Phoenix is going to do the Joker again after this. You know what I mean? So there probably will be another Batman movie with yet another Joker. So. Cap cards, what's going on? Uh, no, that will be shipped to you sealed. But congrats on that one, though. I don't know. Yeah, what was for the Rambo? What does that mean? Disregarded, he says. New Rambo movie coming out soon. Cap cards, was that you? Would you want to talk about a new Rambo movie? Michael Gavai wants, uh, wants Nicholas, Jack Nicholson. Nichol not Nicholas, Jack Nicholson and Joker to come back. I feel like if it was younger Jack Nicholson in today's day and age, I feel like he could have done a movie like Joaquin Phoenix, the Joker, and made it really good. Old Joe, I like Nicholson Joker, but the, mo the movie itself is a little, you know, intentionally kind of camp. It's Colby Allard and very stylized, Tim Burton, you know what I mean? So I like that at kind of this, kind of like that era, I think it represents Batman, Joker, pretty good. Heath Ledger Joker, I think, is probably the best in my opinion. And then you got to follow that by, follow that with Nicholson. Derek Dietrich, four out of five on that red. That'll be for John Samuelson and the Marlins. There you go, John. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! All right, next stack here. Adam's trying to be excited about the new Batman with Robert Pattinson. Yeah, that's an interesting casting choice. Maybe it's maybe they're going for a moody hipster Batman. Michael G saying Mr. Freeze was still the best character. I mean, maybe so bad it's good. Oh man, the writers must have had fun. The screenwriters must have fun with all the ice puns, the freezing puns. All right, next box. And Nick will be going through all of these. We'll be sleeving and top-loading most of those rookie cards. We'll definitely kind of, you know, pull out the sort of top ones right here, like this Juan Soto right here, even though he's not a rookie. But the bigger names we'll pull right away, sleeve, top-load. But I'll try to get most of those before they get shipped out. I'm 
that Kyle Tucker has some good value there too. There's Dominic Leone, 10 out of 25. Logan, you like the Joker who had the mustache. Are you talking like like 1960s Adam West Batman TV series, Joker? That's for the Astros. That'll be for Rick Cade. And there's Mitch Keller Green. And that's for the Pirates. That will be for Don Rav and the Pittsburgh Pirates. Rookie Auto. Right. Cesar Romero. 57 out of 50. 47 out of... Can't be 57 out of 50. 47 out of 50. All right. Two more to go. I agree with you on that. I think I think that's a relatively common sentiment, Ray Rice, Adam, that Ben Affleck, great Bruce Wayne, Ben Affleck, not a good Batman. But yeah, I, I agree, Rory. Christian Bale, probably the best Batman. And then, yes, Rex, Michael Keaton, probably. Rex thinks Michael Keaton's the best Batman. Pretty good Batman. Probably second. Though I think Christian Bale definitely a little bit better. Manny Margot. Mike Zunino. Oh, and the Twins have tied it. That's 5 out of 10 for the Mariners. That's going to be for Don Rab. And another Mitch Keller for Don Rab. There you go, Don. All right, and the final box. This is break nine. Good luck, everybody. Kenya Middleton. And Chris Davis Orange. 10 out of 25. 19 out of 20. I can't read today. 19 out of 25. By the way, there are um, there are just uh, cards that have just say that don't have a team association on the back, right? Those will be randomized to one person if there's a if there's a serial number. And we saw one of those yesterday. Most of them will have some sort of team association, though. We got Kevin Kramer, another pirate for Don. Nice break for you, Don. And George Springer right there. And there you have it, folks. 2019 Tops Sapphire Baseball in the books. Let's give away some money. And what are we giving away? 50 bucks here? All right, so the standard, if you buy two teams, one entry, four teams, two entries, so on and so forth. Let's sort by column A. Charles Byrne got two, so you get an entry. John Samuelson got four, you get two entries. 
David Larson, three, only two count, one entry. Don, one entry. EA, one entry. John Alfie's, one entry. John G, one. X Line, one. Levi, entry. Richard Z, entry. Rick K, entry. All right, so that's a one spot in 12. One spot in 12 will get break credit. After six times, two and a four. One, two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. Charles Byrne, there you go, Charles. Congrats to you, $50 of break credit going your way. We'll see you next time, folks, for the next one, jazpyscasebreaks.com.